In the previous video, we learned how to create an image zoom animation like this one using vanilla JavaScript. In that video, we went through all the needed math and concepts to understand how to build this kind of animation. So if you haven't watched that video yet, I highly recommend watching it before you continue. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how to convert it into a React component so you can easily use it anywhere you want in your app. So let's get started. So I'm here in a new React project. I just added some content here from the previous example. You can see how we are using regular images here, but instead of that, we're going to create a new React component and use them here. We're gonna call that component zoomable image. So let's create that. So if we go here, let's create a new component, call it zoomable image. So let's export that. And this component will work as a wrapper for the image tag. So let's say image, and we're gonna pass through any attributes. So let's say attributes and just use them here. So let's go back and use them here. Now let's save and try. So you can see after I saved, we still display them as before, but now we are using the React components instead. Now let's go back to the component and we will start here by pasting the JavaScript code from the previous example in a use effect. So if we say use effect and this will have empty dependencies and we're gonna paste everything from the previous example here. Let's save. Let's see how we can get this working. First, let's remove everything related to overlay because we're gonna handle that later. So let's remove the overlay here, here, and all of this, and this. Now let's reload and try. So if I click on this image, it zooms in and zooms out. And let's try this, and it works. But of course, this is not a good implementation because we are not scoping the work here for this specific component. So you can see, for example, we are fetching all the images and we are not using what React offers for updating the styles and such. So first, instead of fetching all the images here, let's get a reference to this image only and we can use useRef for that. So let's define that here. Const image ref. Let's say use ref. It will start with null. Now let's use this on the image tag. So let's go down here, let's say ref, image ref. Now let's replace all the image variables with image ref. So let's get this, select everything, say image ref dot current. Now let's remove this setup function. We don't need it. Let's remove it here. And let's remove this call for it and save and let's try. Now if I click, it still zooms in and zooms out. So it works. Next, let's move this is zoomed into a react state. So it's gonna be is zoomed in, set is zoomed in, and we're gonna use state, and the initial value will be false. Now let's replace the regular assignment with set is zoomed in. So let's go down here, and we're gonna say set is zoomed in. Let's do the same for this one. Next, let's convert the click event listener with React events. So let's go up here, and let's remove this, and let's go down, and we're gonna add it here. Let's say on click, it's gonna call toggle zoom. But now the toggle zoom is inside the use effect. So let's move it out of that. So we're gonna move this and we'll also move the zoom out. So let's move that out here. Now let's save and try. So you can see it works here and works here. So great, we didn't break anything. Now let's move the styles from inline styles to the element itself. So let's start with these. So I'm gonna move these and paste it down. So let's add style. Now let's use the transition. Let's use this. Now let's do the transform origin and let's use the cursor. Now the cursor here is a little bit different from the other two. We need to set it to zoom in if it's not zoomed in. So let's check, is zoomed in. If it's that, then let's use zoom out. Otherwise let's use zoom in. And let's remove these and save. Now let's do the same for the transform property. You can see we are updating it here. So I'm gonna create a new state for the transform and add the position and the scale for it. So let's go up. So let's say const transform set transform and then use state and let's say left zero, top zero and scale will start with one. Now let's go down and use set transform. So let's say set transform left is going to be this value. Top will be this value and scale will be this value or we can just remove this. Now let's remove that and let's update the zoom out. In zoom out, we will use the default values. So let's say set transform and left zero, top zero and scale is one. And let's go down and use the transform here. Say transform, translate, 
transform.left, pixels, transform.top, pixels, and scale, scale. Now let's go up to the zoom out and let's remove this one since we already used that. Also, let's go up here, remove this one, and let's use the position with relative down. Let's say position, relative. Now for the z-index, we will create a state because we need to update it at various times. For example, if we go up here, so you can see we have transition end and we update that based on the current state. So the best way to handle this is to create a state for the z-index. So let's go up and create it here. Const z-index set z-index use state. It will start with empty string. Now let's use it here. We're going to say set z-index empty string. Remove that. Scroll down. And we're going to use it here. Set z-index to. And then let's use it on the element. So we're going to say z-index. And that's it. Now before we test that, let's also move the transition end event here. So let's go up. Let's cut this. And let's go down. Let's say on transition end. Let's paste it here. Let's remove this and remove this. Now let's save and reload and try. So this works and this also works. And if we also test the scroll, it should work. If you remember when we scroll, it should zoom out. But one thing we need to update here is that if we go up, you can see we are registering the scroll event on the window in use effect. But it's also a good practice to remove that listener when the component is unmounted. So let's do that down. Let's return a function and copy this and say remove event listener and save. With that, the image part is ready. Now let's work on the overlay part. Like in the previous example, we created a single overlay that will be shared for all the images. So let's do the same here. So we're going to create an overlay component. So let's create a new folder here called overlay and let's create an overlay component. Let's create a function. This component will be a div and we will have a class name of overlay. So let's create the stylings in overlay.css and let's paste the stylings here. Now let's import this in the component. Now the best place to use this component is in the root component of this project. So let's go to main.jsx and use it here. Now if we save, we will see this. So you can see how we are displaying this element inside the root div. But to avoid any issues related to z-index in the future, it's better if we display it out in the body tag. We can do this using portals. So let's go to that component and let's wrap this with a portal. Create portal. And the second argument will be the body tag. So let's say document.body and let's save. So now you can see how it's displayed in the body tag. So you can see how this is always displayed. So let's make it hidden by default. So I'm going to do that using inline styles. So let's say style and let's set opacity to zero and pointer events to none. Now let's save. Now we need to think about a way that we can control the overlay element. So we can show it or hide it or get the state of that. We're going to do this using React contexts. So let's define a new context for this overlay component. So let's go here and create overlay context. So let's create the context first. Create context. Now let's define the use overlay. So we're going to say export const use overlay. And we're going to say use context and overlay context. Now let's define the provider. Let's say export const overlay provider. And it's a function that accepts the children. And we're going to return overlay context dot provider. And we will display all the children here. Now let's define the values we will pass. So let's say value. We will pass show overlay, hide overlay, and is visible. Is visible is the state. So let's define that. Let's say is visible set is visible let's say use state it will start with false show overlay and hide overlay are functions that toggle that state so let's define them here show overlay is a function that calls set is visible to true and hide overlay is the same but it sets it to false let's save oh it broke because of this typo let's fix it and save now let's use this context in the overlay component let's go to overlay.jsx and let's use it here. We're going to access is visible from use overlay. And we will use this state to update the stylings here. So we'll update this to say when it's visible, then make it one. Otherwise zero. And for the pointer events, when it's visible, set it to empty. So it's the default value. Otherwise it should be none. Now let's go to zoomable image to update it. So it shows and hides the overlay. Let's go to zoomable image. So let's use overlay here. We're going to get show overlay and hide overlay from use overlay. Now let's use show overlay down here. 
we're gonna call it here and we're gonna call hide overlay when the image zooms out so let's say hide overlay and let's make a quick update here we're gonna move set is zoomed in false to zoom out let's save it now let's try if i click on this image it opens and it shows the overlay if i click it closes if i go here click it shows the overlay if i scroll it closes now one last thing missing here is that if i try to click here to open and if I try to click on the overlay, it doesn't close. The reason for that is because we don't have a click listener for that yet. This might seem a little bit tricky because we have a single overlay component and all images are using it. So how can we listen to this click event and call the zoom out for this specific component? So we will break this problem into two parts. First, we need a way to register a callback for this specific component so it gets called when the overlay is clicked. And the other part is to call that callback. Let's start from the second one. So if we go to the overlay component, we can add a click event here. So if we say on click and execute a callback that we will call overlay click handler, and it will be coming from the overlay context. So let's import it from here. So you can see we will have that click handler in the context. So let's define that there. So let's go to the context and let's define it as a state. So we're gonna say overlay click handler and set overlay click handler and it will be a state and it will start with null now the best moment to register a click handler is when the overlay shows so that means we can accept some callback in the show overlay function here let's call it callback and then we can set it in the state so let's say set overlay click handler and set the callback and when we hide the overlay we should set it back to null so let's update this and set it to null now we still need to pass this into provider. So let's go here and pass it here and save. So you can see we are registering the callback in the show overlay, which we call from zoomable image. So let's go to zoomable image and we can pass it here. So this callback is when the overlay is clicked. And in this case, we will call zoom out or just simply say this. Now let's save and try. So if I click it zooms, I click on the overlay, it closes. And let's try this and it works. So that's it for this video. So we have built a zoomable image component that we can easily use in any of our React projects and we just need to use it and all the images will be zoomable. So I hope you learned something new here and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.